Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the brand new, this is the Guerlain 4 collection and beautiful nude colours. In this collection are two eyeshadow quads, there's also some lipsticks and these are both in the velvet and satin formula and there are the lipstick cases as well, there are three of those and there's also mascara. I've got both of the eyeshadow quads and I'm going to swatch both of them today but I'm only going to be trying on one. I'll do a video on the other one. Today I'm going to be trying on Wild Nudes. I have got one of the lipsticks already and that was shade 08 and I did pick up one of the cases that's in the shade Rosewood but I haven't got the mascara and I don't think I'll be picking it up either. Although I haven't tried a brown mascara for years now, so maybe when it becomes available in New Zealand, I might give it a go because I quite like the Guerlain Mascara formula. So this collection is now available in the United States and it's on the Guerlain website and I put that to my stories and also on my community page quite a few hours ago now, early this morning, it's now late afternoon. I also did a poll on my community post asking which eyeshadow quad that you wanted to see first and overwhelmingly you wanted to see the Wild Nudes eyeshadow quad so that's why I'm going to do that one today. So I'm just taking a look at the Guerlain website and it says for the first time Guerlain has created a collection entirely dedicated to natural shades for lips and eyes. An unprecedented line that reflects Violet's vision of nude revealing every woman's natural beauty mixing subtly and creatively through a color palette designed for every skin tone. Now the one that I'm going to be trying on today, the eyeshadow quad, the One Wild Nudes, I've actually worn that I think three times. I wore it again this morning because I had an appointment to go to. It is a beautiful quad and I'm not sure whether the formula is the same as the other Guerlain quads that were released last year, but I feel for some reason that this just blends just a lot easier than the other ones. I really love the other Guerlain quads, but there was one shade in some of them and it had more of a creamy putty type texture and that sometimes took a little bit of work to blend, whereas these quads don't have that formula in any of the two eyeshadow quads. They go on really, really beautifully. So just before I show you the eyeshadow quads, I will show you the lipstick case that I picked up. This is the one Rosewood and I'm just having a look on the website now and as I was saying there are three of them. So there's one rosy nude that's described as a very tender pastel toned pink. Rosewood, this is this one, incredibly soft and central rosy brown and then there's also berry brown and that's a deep brown mixed with burgundy. And I'll just hold this up a little bit closer so you can take a look. So you see it is textured and sort of feels like a faux leather. I think these are really lovely. And I'll just open it up. Most of you have probably seen these Guerlain cases. They are really beautiful. I know there's people that collect every single one that comes out. I just decided to pick up one. I do have quite a few now. So you just slide it out of the case and then they pop open automatically once you take the lipstick out. Initially there's a little sticker just over here to keep them closed and it has that mirror inside which makes it really convenient if you're going out you've got a little mirror to put on your lipstick and then it just slides in really easy as well. It just has this little lip part here and then it just clicks back on and it keeps the case shut. These feel really weighty. I think they are really beautiful makeup products. So the two eyeshadow quads come in the same packaging as they did last year and then earlier this year with the beautiful Summer Jean collection. So it has the standard four eyeshadows in each quad and each one is 2.2 grams of product. And these are made in France and these have a shelf life of six months from date of opening. Now I still have used the ones that I got from last year so that is well over six months ago and they do perform just like they did when I just got them. So as I was saying these just have the standard gold packaging and so I've got number 258 Wild Nudes and also 910 in 
undressed brown. So I'll hold them up so you can take a closer look. So first of all, I'll show you, this is 910 and this is the one undressed brown. This is definitely a warm color story and I've also tried this one and this one is absolutely gorgeous as well. And then we have the one that I'm going to be trying on today and it is number 258 and this is Wild Nudes. And this one is one satin and there are three mats. So first of all, I'll swatch the 258 Wild Nudes. And I imagine they're going to swatch really beautifully because they went on my eye really beautifully. Then we've got 910 and this is undressed brown. They are beautiful. They feel really smooth when swatched and they have also got really great pigment. This quad here is a lot softer than this one. So I've just turned down the light in front of me just so you can take a closer look. So this is the Wild Nudes and here we have the Undressed Brown. Now in the Wild Nudes there is one satin and the rest are mattes. And then the Undressed Brown you've got this is a satin, this one and this one. And then the shade here is a matte. This is a really beautiful shade. Sort of like a pumpkin but it's almost so it's got a little bit of bronze to it as well and it's really pigmented. So now let's put this beautiful Wild Nudes eyeshadow quad on. As I said, I have tried this before, so this is going to be the fourth time putting this on. It is really, really lovely. I'm going to do, I'm going to use all four shades, but to begin with, I'm going to do quite a soft look. And then once I've got my mascara, eyeliner, blush and lipstick on, then I'll probably go in with this shade and deepen it up just so you can see it both ways. So first of all, I'm just going to take a Sonia G brush. This is the classic crease. And I'm going to go into this shade here. And I'm just going to put it on how I've been wearing it the other times that I put it on. So I just take this all over the lid and through the crease and just above as well. And it is that easy to blend. I think these just blend absolutely beautifully so i have got eyeshadow primer on and i've also got foundation on i've got bronzer on as well and done my eyebrows but everything that i'm putting on my face today i will have listed and linked in the description box below so just the same on the other eye i do love nude eyeshadows they are my favorite i don't think they're boring at all i think they're really beautiful and they can be really versatile as well today i am using all four shades but there's no reason why you can't just use one as a one and done or you could just use a couple at a time as well but they just blend so beautifully I'm going to take the Rafa 14 and I'm going to go into the shade here. This one is the satin shade and I'm just going to put a little bit in the outer corner and take it through the crease and I'm just going to take it slightly above as well and just through to just there. When I first saw this collection was going to be coming out, this was probably at least probably a couple of months ago now, I was hoping that I was able to get my hands on it because this is definitely my type of colour story. And then I'm going to stay with this shade, the satin one, and I'm just going to sweep some of this just under my lower lash line. And I'm going to go into this rosy beige shade here and I'm going to put that over the rest of my lid just through here and take it up through there as well. I think that this eye look is really simple to do and just looks 
very natural, not overdone, but absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to take the Sony G, this is the pencil one, and go into the deeper shade here. And I'm just going to put a little bit in the outer corner. I'm also just going to put a little bit on the lower lash line as well. And then once I've done this, I will put eyeliner and mascara on. And like I was saying, once I've got blush and lipstick on as well, I will deepen up this eye look. Just so you can see it look just a little bit more smoky than it's going to look now. So I'm just taking this brush. This is... A really good brush for if I just want to blend areas this is fluffy but it's small so I can do quite detailed work this is a Sonia G brush as well and this one is called the soft definer then I'm going back to the pencil one brush and I'm gonna put a little bit of this on the lower lash line as well this quad might be the one with the soft shades in it but they are still beautifully pigmented and I really don't need to put my brush into the shadows at all just to get quite a bit of pigment. So eyeliner and mascara is on now and I've also put on some blush as well and I'll put on the lipstick in a minute. So this is the final look of the eyeshadow although I am going to just deepen it up just a little bit once I put the lipstick on just to show you that you can get a little bit more of a smoky look but this is how I've worn it the previous three times and I think it is absolutely gorgeous maybe a couple of the shades might blend into each other but I think all four just work really well the two shades that possibly sort of meld in together a bit probably these two here although this one I put on first and then covered it really with this satin one here but I do think that all four just look absolutely gorgeous the formula is beautiful and it probably is like I was saying the same as the ones last year but to me they just seem to go on just a little bit easier they just blend out just so beautifully so now I'm going to put on the lipstick and the shade that I've got is 08 and this is a satin formula although I do like the Guerlain Velvet formulas as well so that is really just the perfect nude lipstick it is really gorgeous I will swatch it on the back of my hand so you can see what it looks like so it is a rosy beige and really goes perfectly with that rosy beige shade in the eyeshadow quad I think it is really lovely so now I am just going to deepen up the look just a little bit more I'm just going to go back with the Rafa 14 and go back into this deeper shade here these are fairly pigmented so I'm just going to take it through here and I'm going to just sweep it up as well so this is the first time that I've done this put more of this darker shade on the outer corner and taken it above as the other three times that I've worn it I really just just kept it like this eye here and I also love the look now that it's deepened up as well just absolutely gorgeous and it blends just so beautifully you can get that really gorgeous gradient dark here and then just blends out into that gradient into that rosy beige here it's really gorgeous I also just put on a little bit more of the dark eyeshadow the darkest one that I was using out here to smoke it out a bit I also just put a little bit more just through here as well just to balance it all out but both ways the first way that I did it and then by adding a little bit more I do love both ways although maybe now that I've smoked it out maybe this is the one that I like even more but either way I think both work really really beautifully so both quads are just absolutely stunning and between the two I don't know whether I like the wild nudes one or the 
undressed brown one more. The undressed brown is going to have a bit more of an impact because it does have that pumpkin-y sort of bronzy shade in it which I think is going to be really gorgeous and if you wanted an even more deeper look I think that's probably the quad that you would gravitate to but this is beautiful you can get a very soft look with this you don't need to use all of the four shades if you do you can still get a soft look like the first look that I did or just add a little bit more impact using that darker shade I said it before but they blend beautifully they are gorgeously pigmented, even though this is a more softer type of palette, you still get really good payoff, absolutely gorgeous. And the Gulan cases are really beautiful. I love this textured faux leather, and I'm really pleased with the shade that I picked up, the one in Rosewood. I think it is just gorgeous, and it really just matches the shade of the lipstick 08 really perfectly so what a beautiful collection from Guerlain I wouldn't mind trying maybe one or two more of the lipsticks if these become available here in New Zealand I will pick some up but first I just want to watch some videos and just see swatches of them some of them I think are going to be too deep for me but there was one other shade I can't think of the name of it now and it's sort of more similar to the shade here a little bit lighter but just a beautiful nude collection from Guerlain so that's it for today's video I would love it if you gave it a like and subscribed and I will see you next time bye